Hey guys, and welcome back to Journey of Dreams. Today we're going to be finishing off the missions in Memory Forest as per Nightopia tradition. But I think a certain someone forgot to cut to the part where the protagonist moves her ass when the part starts. <laughs> <laughs> Move your ass, Helen. There we go. I think she was going, what was I just doing? All oh, right, I got to go to Memory Forest. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, she just had a moment of amnesia. It's fine. So, I believe you have a thing or two to say about the missions in Memory Forest, Rich? Yeah, so there is one mission that I really, really love. Mm -hmm. There is one which I pretty much dislike. Okay. And then there is one which is okay. So, you'll have to try and guess which is which. Alright, alright, I'm not going to have opinions forced on me, so I will judge using mine eyes and mine ears. Not the nose, the touch, or the taste. That would be just weird. We're not that far along in terms of video game design, yeah? Dark forest. It's full of light. Brightly lit. Uh -huh. I can see every particle on that tree. Nights is randomly on edge for some reason. Maybe he just doesn't like forests. You ever consider that? <laughs> oh, I love this song. So it's it's called Precious Orgle, which is like a orgel, I don't know. It's basically like a little music box. Can you spell so, that for us? O R G E L. Okay. Whoa, whoa, Helen's mum got a line. I know. They have to pay her by the syllable. Expensive as fuck. <laughs> I was going to say, it seemed a bit too coincidental for the dream world to coincide with what happened in the real world. And all of a sudden, Knight was not keeping her, keeping his eye on Helen. Yeah. Where did you go? I think that's the other way around. Helen wasn't keeping her eye on Knight. <laughs> well, Knight was, Knight was the ones uh, worrying, saying, oh, we should stay vigilant. Keep our eyes. And just wandered. And he's off somewhere else. Being vigilant. Just not looking behind him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta look forward, not back. Okay, Rich. Oh, wow. Here's the darkness. Explain what this mission's all about, mate. It's a platforming mission. Woo! With switches. Yes! That cause platforms and blocks to move and appear. And there's water. And it's slow. <laughs> Why are we doing this playthrough again, Richard? <laughs> Because I love this game, it's just that I don't like the ground missions. Okay, well, to be fair, I liked the casino-esque one. Yeah, Broadway Guide is relatively fun, largely because of the music and the visuals. Gameplay-wise, it's neither here nor there, but uh, this this mission... Mm. Is it a bit maze-like, a bit labyrinthine? Yeah, so if you thought Glass Labyrinth was bad for being labyrinthine, this is even worse because... It's very difficult to see where the hell you're actually going. Hmm, and there's no, like, there's no, like, radar or anything either. No. I'd, I'd definitely say that uh, the last one was more the platforming aspects for Helen. This one is more... You know, the last one was more the maze. This one's more platforming, because, like, you're jump, jumping around a lot more. Yeah. Okay, if this doesn't sprain her ankle, I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> It's not going to sprain her ankle. Also, how far did Knights go? I know! Uh, he's pretty quick when he wants to be. <laughs> Ow, my ankle! <laughs> so, yeah, the, I just find this mission really frustrating. Like, the, sa the song's alright. It's got a little... I like there's a little bit in the middle, which is where it takes a cue from the Merry Memory forest or memory memory go round which is the name of the song and um, that plays throughout memory forest and i like that bit it's the like the do 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 beautiful yeah um that bit i like the rest of it is just sort of glum and it just makes everything feel really oppressive mm. and as you can probably tell by the amount of times that i've mentioned it i don't like it when things are a little bit too oppressive. Oh Jesus, I hate to think how you're going to deal with our next Sonic playthrough then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope I haven't given the game away with that one. It's an October surprise. And I can't wait, because mm. it's one of the Sonic games that I've never actually played. Okay, so it's a this kind of scenario. Yes. Except probably it, it's more of a Banjo-Kazooie 
scenario, because obviously you'd play that game I hadn't. Mm -hmm. Although, it's sort of a this scenario in the sense of you've got two people who've played it versus one who hasn't, but... Y yep, there you go. I'm just splitting hairs at this point. <laughs> yes, you are. God, the frame rate drops during these. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, is this just the game? Is it not your recording, Rich? This is the game. Jesus. And... God freaking damn it! It's this mission which really does kind of make me feel like it was at, only at the last minute that they decided to add these missions. Because it, it must have been like, oh wait, we've given the players control over the kids. Why don't we allow an entire mission based around that? So they just threw it together because the kids control so stubbornly. Jankily. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think you are definitely right on that, that it was done very last minute. I like the idea of it. Mm -hmm. It's just that the overall execution has ended up being pretty poor, but especially this mission because it does require so heavily on precise platforming to get through it in a reasonable time. And, yeah, getting that A rank. <laughs> Helen, stop looking at me like that, you're creeping me out. Seriously. <laughs> so Knight's basically buggered off to set up a picnic table, is that why I'm supposed to glean from this little bit of info right here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I just like to know the whole story, okay, else we get into the groove of things. Oh god, are we gonna get some Chain of Memories bullshit with this? Um, uh, not really. That wasn't an answer? Okay, well, not really is an answer. The bit before <laughs> was just noise. <laughs> well, you see, you need the noise to understand the sentiment behind my not really. Ah, uh, okay, you follow the Bible of Entom when it comes to commentary. Ah, oh, jelly hands, I won't miss you. <laughs> Alright, Rich, please tell me this is the mission you quite like. Reused animation again! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, this is the mission that I say is okay. Alright, the one in the middle, the one that keeps the balance between good and evil. Yes, because as you can probably tell, it's a Link mission! So you can probably tell that, that the last mission is the one that I love. Okay, and on a high note, I guess. Yes. So obviously we have that and then we have the boss, so... Mm -hmm. Memory Forest ends on a high for me. It does actually, yeah, because the boss from what we saw last time is pretty sick. Uh-huh. This piece of music is always a treat. I know. Um, someone pointed out in the comments that it's called Catch Me If You Can. Nice. Appropriate. Now I'm just thinking of Sonic Riders. <laughs> That's pretty good as well. To be fair, I'm thinking of uh, Pikachu's Vacation. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the Catch Me If You Can that always comes up in my head. What? Whoa! Catch Me If You Can! Yeah, well, it, it's more, whoa, <laughs> it's come and try to catch me, come to catch me if you can. Well, there you go. <laughs> always gonna fuck it up stage me, don't you? <laughs> well, when it comes to having a sing-song, that, that, that's my jam. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot, you're the musical lover of the group. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get you into fucking Steven Universe. You know how many songs were in that bitch? I'll get into it eventually, Tom. I've got stuff to do. God, you're worse than Hell Dragon when it comes to watching shows. Just watch it already. <laughs> Just do it. Peer pressure. I know nothing is impossible, and I've just got to make my dreams be dreams, but I will not just do it due to peer pressure. Okay, anything in particular we need to know about this particular Link mission before, you know, obviously we catch up to the poor, unsuspecting Octopore? Um, a way of getting a few more Links is to hit the switches, because then if you go through, like, the blue bell thingies, then you will end up picking up more links, because they have blue chips in them. Fair dues. Aesthetically, this world is pretty nice, but um, actually, I'm, I don't really have any negatives to say about it. I, li I can understand where you're coming from with the whole platforming stuff, but to me, it just seemed like typical, clunky Sega slash Sonic team platforming. I don't, I don't know really what you were expecting from it. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's mostly an issue of contrast, hmm. really, of you've got the more fun nights levels and then you've got the more frustrating ground missions. Fair dues. Then there is also the whole thing of 
when you've got someone's doing like a, an A rank run of a mission, it looks dead easy. Yeah. Actually playing the mission and trying to find out where you're going is much more frustrating. Oh yeah. Especially considering there's the chance of getting a night over and then having to restart it all again and there's all of that jazz. Yeah, I know, I know. I recently finished recording uh, the footage for our show of like, Plague of Shadows uh, playthrough, which is currently ongoing, I believe, at the time this recording goes up. Or it may be finished, or at least coming near to its conclusion. And, uh, god, the amount of times I had to redo a level because I got all the way to the boss and I either died or it wasn't good enough. Yeah, so it's basically that. There's a stark contrast between the two sets of levels. Okay, well I have high expectations of this mission. Oh, I love it so much! It, it is actually one of the best missions in the whole game. Wow. But it, my god does it start off stupid. Yeah. Oh, it's time for me to get raging again. Wow, salt. <laughs> salt and Carto. Carto salt. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming it's basic. Part of it is basically because Helen's just a really selfish cow. Yeah, yeah. What is it with you with that word, Richard? I don't know. It, it's how I refer to things sometimes. Just like the one in my town. Man, if there were a concert hall surrounded by like gigantic ant-like trees, I don't think I'd ever leave there. I'd have picnics. I'd hold gaming tournaments. I don't know. It's just the idea of like. Why, why are you coming here, Al? To ruin my beautiful bit of dialogue here. You stupid bitch, I had something beautiful going! Oh, I'm excited to see what you're on about, Carter. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I just don't like this cutscene because it just points out every single flaw I have with Helen's story. In that, in that it doesn't exist until this, this part. Hmm. Not really as developed as Will's, would you say? Yeah, it's it's basically the fact that Helen, in the opening cutscene, we just see Helen blow off her mother to hang out with her friends. Yeah, neglecting her duties. Yeah, and we we see the slightest hint there that she does already know that she should be practicing rather than hanging out with her friends. So that just begs, brings, makes me bring up the question that. Why isn't she then? Mm, true, true. Thank you. It's because she's a selfish preteen. Now that's probably the, <laughs> the technical reason behind it. Thanks for downgrading but... her from a cow to a preteen. It's nice for a character to know when they're appreciated. And oh, I think I just realised why you liked this mission so much, mate. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. You do like yourself a bit of rhythm action, Mr. I like rhythm thief and the Phantom's treasure, whatever the fuck it's called. Emperor's treasure. There we go. Sorry, Phantom R is the character, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay, I was getting them mixed up there. So yeah, this is basically, as you can tell, you hit the notes in time with the yellow bar. <laughs> if you can control the glorious. rocket. Well, the thing is, so... I'm not very good at keeping pace with this thing unless I'm in Rocket because it requires some very, very good drill dashing okay. to make it between certain notes. So I just go as Rocket to make sure that I get through this as smoothly as possible. Oh, is it timed? Well, so I mean, it is timed, but it's more the case of if you want to get the highest score possible, you've got to be in time with that yellow bar that Al is covering. Oh, okay. You've got to play Dreams Dreams perfectly. Yes, essentially. Well, you must have heard it at least 50 times uh, before this mission rolls around, so you should know how it goes. Well, actually, speaking of that, I've got a question for you, Anton. Mm hmm. Out of all f three official versions of Knights, how many versions of Dream Dreams are there? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think back to Knights into Dreams. Um,. It was like three or four there. There was the Christmas Nights variant. Then I guess you've got a couple more here, so maybe six or seven. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There are three in Christmas Nights. Three? Three in, the, in Nights into Dreams. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in Journey of Dreams. What? Uh-huh. I can list them all. I can prove it. No, no, I, I'll take your word for it, mate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's actually even a version which 
Even Richie hadn't heard until I pointed it out to him. Well, to be fair, that's because that was a fan-made version of of Dreams Dreams, but it is a version of Dreams Dreams that was quite lovely to hear. Jesus Christ. So not only was I wrong, my answer only accounted for, like, one of the games. (laughs) (sighs) Alright, I believe it's time to uh, take on Miss Spider Queen again. Uh Uh-huh, it is time for Queen Bella Hard Mode. Oh, yeah. And, um, I can't remember how quickly I take it down, but I'm pretty sure it is damn quick. Well, I would expect nothing less from a guy who got all A ranks except for that one B rank, which Carter and I didn't point out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's the curse of editing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely an A rank on that mission, it's just that I think I went back after beating mm-hmm. uh, Lost Valley. Okay, that's to fair enough. do it. It's okay, I'm just going to let you stutter on for a bit, justifying your editing skills before we swiftly move on. You. Come out of there. Again, Stop a boss with messing, with, messing with the world hasn't done a thing. Well, there's nightmares running about, does that count? I suppose, I mean, I think that's the point. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I do like that reveal. That's how you do a menacing boss, even though she looks pretty fucking fabulous. Well, of course. I thought she was going to lower herself into the lava there for a second. My skills. Oh, is she just taunting us now? (laughs) Look at this shit. This is where I could be if you weren't such a fucking casual. (laughs) All right, Rich, any major differences in the hard mode version of this fight? There is a third level to this, and she also plops out uh, balls that... Are, well, that you can't actually wrap yourself around. Ah, the ungrabbable walls. Yes, but thankfully, it is possible to defeat her in like nine seconds or so. Oh. Okay, I tell a lie. It's not ones that you can't grab onto, it's ones that uh, last for longer and can just go through everything. They're great. And she's dead! I thought Knights jumped into the lava there for a second. <laughs> so yeah, you've got to beat her dead quick to get a good score on this because, I mean, look at how high that was. So I mean, that maybe wasn't quite the 9 second kill that I was hoping for. Hey man, if you get that A rank, nothing else matters. Of course I'm getting that A rank. <laughs> oh yeah. Expect anything less from X Gamer Richie Returns? I think not. Oh, my favourite colour. God, Idia are really big when you get down to it. No wonder it's the symbol of growth. Alright guys, we'll see you next time for the finale of Helen's story in Night's Journey of Dreams. Bye for now.